Hey guys, I'm Julie Jones with Excellence in Exercise, and I'm here today to show you how you can earn 10 stars in about a 30 minute workout. We're going to start with five exercises and you need no weight for these. You can do all body weight with these exercises. We're going to start with a jump squat. It's going to get our heart rate up. It's going to get us warm really quick. Shoulder width apart. We're just going to tap and hop. With that jump squat, we're going for 10. I'm keeping my chest up, sinking into the hips. And once I get my 10 jump squats, I'm going to go down to my floor or mat, and I'm going to do 10 push-ups. So I want to be in a nice, solid, high plank posture, thinking about pulling everything in toward the center line. Your neck is neutral, either looking just out above your fingertips or out in front of the body. You're going to keep your elbows nice and tight. Drop and press. We're going 10 push-ups. Now, once you get your 10 push-ups, we're actually going to stay in that high plank posture. We're going to do a mountain climber. This is going to be a little shoulder burner because you're staying in that high plank. So in the high plank, belly button in, and we pull the knee up toward the chest, and then we switch it. That's one, two, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. From there, I'm going to stay down on my floor, but I'm going to flip over. And I'm going to lay all the way back on my back. Arms can be down by my sides. They can also be up and over my body. I'm going to press into my heels, squeeze my glutes first. So squeeze your buns. Hips go up into bridge posture and then drop back down. Now, once you've done one, I want you to just assess. Where did you feel that? How does that feel? If you feel it on, in your low back, if you feel it in your hamstrings, you need to really, really be more aware and intentional about firing your glutes first before your hips ever leave the ground. We want to feel this in our glutes. So we're going to go 10 reps here. This is three. Squeeze first, then lift, then drop. Now, if you've got your arms up and over your body like I do, you're going to get a little more core work. You have to stabilize more. If that doesn't feel comfortable to you, you can always go arms down by your sides. Squeeze, lift, drop. We're going 10 reps here. And once you've done 10, we're going to do 10 sit-ups. So hands behind the head feet down. Some people find it helpful to slide their feet under um, some uh, dumbbells or something that's going to kind of hold their feet. So you're going to try to come all the way up. You'll see my feet moved a little bit. I'm going to try to keep my feet down all the way back. We're going 10 reps here. That's five. We got five more. Press those hips down and into the mat. Try not to let them pop up. And once you get 10, you're going to come back up and we go back to our jump squats. Okay. So you're back where you started, rolling through those five exercises. Jump squats, push-ups, mountain climbers, bridges, and sit-ups. If you're going for gold, you're going five rounds of 10, extra, of 10 reps each. If you are going silver or bronze, you just drop the reps and adjust as you need to. Okay, from there, 
we're going to do another set. This time we need a set of dumbbells. Okay. So we're going to go five more exercises. And the first thing we're going to do is a chest press. Now you don't have to have a stability ball to do this. It, it, I like to do it on the ball because it's going to give you a little more core work, a little more work in the legs and the glutes. If you use the stability ball, you can do the same exercise on the floor. You can use a bench, whatever you have access to. So I'm going to grab my dumbbells and I'm going to take a seat on my, on the stability ball. And I've got my two dumbbells, one in each hand. I'm going to walk out head, neck, and shoulders are supported and resting on the ball and arms are going to come up with my palms facing out towards my feet. Okay. We're going to just do a nice chest press. So dumbbells come out to the side. They drop all the way to the chest, big press up and in, let those dumbbells meet in the middle each time. Drop and press. We're going 10 reps here. And once you get 10, you're going to pull the dumbbells down, walk it back if you're using the stability ball or come all the way up from the bench or from the floor. Next, we're going to keep our two dumbbells and we're going to go into a squat press. So I'm going to start with the dumbbells loaded at my shoulders, feet about shoulder width apart, soft knees and kind of sit back onto the heels. You're going to sit back into a squat, come up, press those dumbbells up and over the head. Squat and press. We're going 10 reps here. We'll go two more. Now, once you get 10, we're going to drop one dumbbell. You're going to keep both feet down. I'm holding the dumbbell up and over my head. We're going to do an overhead tricep extension. So you're just going to drop the weight behind your head, press straight back up. All right, we're going 10 reps, soft knees, belly button in. We'll go five more. Try to keep those elbows tight. And once you get 10, we bring that down and we're going to go into a front weighted squat. So again, you can use either one dumbbell or you can use two depending on what you have available to you, how much weight you have, but we're going to um, bring those dumbbells up in front. The palms are facing back toward the body, feet about shoulder width apart, and I'm just going to give a nice squat, press through the heels, squeeze the buns to come up. We got three more here. And once I get my 10, I'm going to drop my dumbbells. I'm going back to the floor. And this time, we're going to finish up with a set of bicycles. So I'm going to lay back on my back. My hands are behind my head. And I'm going to bring the elbow and knee together. And then I'm going to switch elbow to knee on the other side. That's one, two, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. That's your second set of five. So I would come back up. I would go back to my chest press, my squat press, my overhead tricep, my front weighted squat, and then finish with those bicycles. For gold, you're going five rounds, 10 reps each. Drop it for silver or for bronze. You guys have got this. Great job.
and I will see you next week.